Greetings and welcome pilots to another episode of Let's Play Free Space The Great War. Alright, let's go be playing Judas with our captured dragon ship. This mission can go wrong in so many ways. Radar is not going to be much help, but we'll see. Uh, cargo one. Let's try not to steer straight into the sun. Whatever the star is that we're flying towards. Be careful of the uh, fighter craft around me. As well as not get too close to jump point because there's sentry guns there that can also apparently smell me. And that could be an issue. A wing of transports has arrived. You know, I do wonder if. It was really such a bright idea to put missiles on this thing. I mean, I'm obviously not really going to have much heavy combat. Actually, let's just focus on the Kratos. Ouch. you know, I probably consider it a little bit weird that the, uh, that the friendly escort is locking its missiles onto me. Alright, cargo twos. Let's just finish looking at the cargo. Also, I have no idea how you're actually supposed to keep track of the uh, Arjuna patrols. Since the radar is not really showing things in 3D. So that's done. We're reading two new freighters. Alright, let's go scan them. Well, tell it to go on somewhere else. Far, they're not getting too close. Just I mean, two kilometers is probably still far enough away. All right, got the new more point. freighters just jumped in. Right, let's focus on them. That's the big boys that are giving me such trouble. Well, let's hope that they do not fucking find out who I am. And the bigger the ship, the longer it takes to scan them. Although the scanning does get a little bit more lenient about how close you need to be. At 
Presumably because at least some part of the ship is at least 150 uh, meters away. Or units, whatever. I forgot what, what distance they use. keep on distance I guess now at least not run into them don't want to do that again but apparently that was getting too close to the sentries I know I know all right just come on give me a good scan without bumping into them please Let's maneuver a little bit further forwards. Getting a bit tricky to keep these things properly in the reticule. Uh, this distance is probably fine. Alright, let's just cut our speed and look at the jump points because that's where the next target is going to come from. Presumably. It's a big one. A demon class destroyer jumped in. It's the Eva. Mm -hmm. Your subspace drives have malfunctioned, Alpha One. They should repair themselves. Alright, let's scan the Eva. Whatever. Whatever. I guess we're done here now. Arjuna, what is approaching? Right. Arjuna, what is approaching? They're moving further away from me. How they how are they approaching? Now they're getting closer again. I need to keep my eye on the jump mode. Arjuna, what is approaching? What's that? Oh my god, it's the Lucifer! Oh crap. Well, Suda Prime is toast. How is that thing moving so fast? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. Just let me get a good scan. Still, big boy. See if you can get into the Lucifer's docking bay. Are you nuts? Sure, I'll do it. Just run. 
Oh, that's no good. terrible news. If both the Eva and the Lucifer are here in Deneb, it will be extremely difficult to stop the Shivan attack. Still, you did an excellent job scanning the Shivan warships. Well done. The fact that you were also able to scan the Shivan supply ships is truly outstanding. Your courage and piloting skills are to be commended. However, the news is bad. The Shivans have enough supplies in those ships to sustain a lengthy assault on Vasuda Prime. We believe their attack force will consist of at least eight full squadrons of fighters, both Genma cruisers, the Eva, and the Lucifer. Things do not look good. The cargo you identified contains parts for Shivan fighters. This leads us to believe that the Shivans will set up a base in the Deneb sector near Vasuda Prime. This information will be invaluable in planning our counterstrike. For your diligence and reconnaissance missions, we are awarding you the Meritorious Unit. Nice. The recommendations. Excellent. Alright, now can I go back to shooting stuff again, please? And we retreated to our home system. Abandoned our empire. We believed at home we would be safe. For they are not a terrestrial species. We know when we entered subspace, we were trespassers. But our planet is our home. And yet still, they came. And our world is gone. The Eva has entered the Deneb system. She is fully armed and is poised to attack the Deneb Vasuda Prime jump node. She is protected by Arjuna and Krishna wings. Hmm? Alpha wing will lead an attack squadron to destroy the Eva. Alpha will fly bombers. Gamma and Beta will cover them. We suggest you damage the weapon subsystem on the Eva before you launch your tsunami bombs. This will prevent the Eva from shooting them down. Makes sense. You may need to call in a support ship to rearm yourself. It is estimated that at least 20 tsunami bombs will be needed to take the EVA down. Destroying the EVA is imperative. With the Lucifer in the system as well, we cannot tolerate the presence of another Shivan capital ship. Good luck. No pressure then. Alright. We'll be flying Medusas. And... A light escort. That will be equipped with the Prometheus. Yeah. Alright, so. Good enough. And let's see, that those are tsunami bombs? Yeah. And we've got the the Latos. Good. That should help. What are these? Synaptic? Defensive weapon. So basically anti-fighter. I'm tempted to maybe give Gamma some better ships. At least something better than... Uh, uh, no, Hercules ships is probably fine. Alright, let's go. All wings ready. Commencing attack. Ish. Alright, uh... I think I can... And let's go for the... Lettos, now.
Not convinced I'm hitting it from the right angle. Bill? My stilettos are bad doing anything. Let's try again. Heads up, we have company. How do we deal with them? Beta wing is already almost dead. Take care of the turrets then. is attacking me because that's just annoying. Seriously, get these guys off my ass. I don't have time to be dealing with these fighters. It's very unprofessional. I need 
need to get these manacles out of my way. Yes, they are, without a doubt, the most annoying things to deal with. Now, I'm not exactly in a fighter. We have one synaptic bomb left. I kind of don't want to waste it on a single damaged manticore. Right, come on, be dumb. Alright. One manticore left. Coming straight at him. Well, that'll do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. And if you like my content, please rate, comment and subscribe.